it anyway. Come on, man, you know. But, but that's how they are. That's but 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 jump ship on them. Come on, but I mean, what does that show you though? They still slaves. Yeah. yeah. They still under the curse. Okay. You know, it don't matter what status you have in, in this world, man. If you a celebrity or not. Okay. She chose the money. That's why she had to leave him. Because they both was broke. Okay. Let LeBron speak up about something. Watch them snatch money away from him. Hell yeah. They talking about it now. He just spoke up when they said set up and dribble. Yeah. He spoke, he kept talking, right? Now they talking about uh he on sports and has been drugs and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, that's what shows, what hey, what shows you that you can have money and still be the beggar? That bitch Monique. Yeah. yeah. Want to ask her for, for uh, uh, uh well, precious? precious. Yeah, she can't find a role in Hollywood no more. Yeah, and then she's <laughs> making a complaint God, about God. Uh, a Netflix. Netflix special. God. Why? Why ain't getting paid like uh, Amy? Uh, whatever. She's yeah, I know that's you know? She she's she basically she was begging Esau, man, because she didn't get what she what she wanted from. Him. She's she's begging the devil for for a, a, a bigger piece, and the devil's like, no, nah, you. You really don't said, deserve it right I now. You, you already. I already use you. Yeah. you. You're not working as hard as these other slaves that show that they deserve it. That's why I'm giving Dave Chappelle uh, 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 more yeah. or God. Chris Rock more. God. Like you say, the saying you always say, the devil always wants his money back. Yeah. You know, you think you got a piece of his pie because uh, he allowed you to get into that that, that that spotlight, you know? But once he done using you, you for you the purpose, money, you, know? God, you was used as a distraction from the people. That's basically what you was used for. Say, yeah, I'm gonna put you in the spotlight. You're gonna make these jokes, you're gonna dribble this ball, you know, you're gonna catch this, catch that, yeah. and uh, the people gonna just gonna get the minds of the uh, the real things that's happening. And ultimately, after he done using you for that purpose, he like he already gave you what you wanted. Yeah, yeah. I don't need you no more. Yep, yeah. and then watch after that, once you once once Esau get rid of you, man, he take this the, the limelight away from you, your your money is finna go quick. Okay. Yeah. It's just gonna dissipate, man. That's right. And then next thing you know, you gonna end up selling cars on a, a car dealership and shit. Working, uh, working at uh, uh, Starbucks. Yeah, you gonna be God, back at Target, you know? Had the one time oh, I man. paid a We're under the curse, man. That, that's uh, that's uh, uh, Lazarus, man. We're in a lowly condition. The Lord got us like that, man. All right? He set this, this base man, all right? He, he, he raised him up from the dunghill and, and put him on over his head. And that's that, that's that rich man. Go ahead, I can go back into it. Uh, Luke, did you ever get that in a, about, um, you, you jumped down to that verse oh, about no, uh, going to the enemy for the one of all things? I didn't get to read it. Yet. Go ahead and get this that. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore one. shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And that, part of that yoke is, um, is, is invisible now. It's not even a literal yoke anymore. But is that we're subject unto payments into his system. Eventually he's going to perfect that uh, that yoke with this mark of the beast, our FID chip. Yep. Uh, I want to read this right quick. Uh, Proverbs 22 and 7. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. God. God. Yeah. We so we're we're as long we're as this devil's in power, we we you know we we enslaved, man. Oh shit, the elite bankers, man. Like JP Morgan, for example, back in the early 1900s, yeah. they uh they bailed out America, man. Yeah. When they when they uh the panic of 1906, I, I believe, man. Yeah. They bailed out America's stock market, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's. That's how America's subject unto the elites, man. The elite Edomites, man. And I've even heard this. I don't, you know, I don't, I can't verify and say I know it's fact and true. But they said they did that and brought the economy back, but on purpose. They had when the, when the, uh, the crops failed in the, in the early uh, the 1920s, or whatever. The, the Great Depression that came in the 30s was on purpose. They didn't. That didn't have to happen. They could have just bailed them out and kept them afloat, but they didn't do that. Like this depression about to come. Depression yeah. then hyperinflation. Yeah. yeah. That's right, man. Go ahead, bro. Luke 16 and 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fare sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores. 
and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. And you're going to the, the enemy for the one of all things. You're going to him for, for, for uh, government assistance, housing, public housing. Crumbs. You, you, you want a job from him, you want a loan, you got to go to him for loans. Crumbs. That's crumbs, man. Uh -huh. Like that bitch just got a wake up call, that nigga bitch. She got that Trump. She got that package yeah, yeah, yeah. with, the, with them stale ass biscuits. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 bro. So, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, 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 what am I supposed to do with this biscuit? <laughs> that bitch Amorosa, too. All right. Yeah. yeah. Kissing up to Esau. Yeah. yeah, man. That's But that's Jake, man. Begging, man. You got to go to to, to to the rich man. Yo. Go ahead, huh? Moreover, the dogs came and licked his swords. They fought, they, what did they do? They, the other nations, yeah. they came to help forward the affliction. Get that in the, was that Lamentation? Yeah, that was right there. I think that's in Lamentation. Or, 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 uh, or is it in Hosea? Hosea, I think Hosea. It's, uh, Especially where it says they help uh, forward the affliction. I'm trying to remember where that's at. I look for it. But but basically these other nations, you know, they 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 help keep Jake in this condition, man. That's why they 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 come into your neighborhood, and they know it's a it's a, your, your your neighborhood is designed to keep you trapped in in, in those neighborhoods. And they come and they set their businesses up because they know after you work for them, you're going to uh, basically go to them and give the same, the very same money that you make working for them, you're going to give it right back to them. Oh, yeah. You know? Exactly and, they, right. and they getting filthy rich off of your slave labor and you give it back to them what you making from them. God. It's all set up and designed that way, man. Yeah. Esau allows that because they, all these nations were confederate together to keep Israel cursed in, 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 in the, on the bottom, man. Yep. As long as they keep Israel down, they get to be up. That, and that goes back to the curse. Uh, the, the strangers that are uh, uh, about, about thee shall get thee above thee very high, God. and thou shalt be brought low. You know? No, Zechariah, right? Zachariah yeah. 1 and 15. Yeah. Zechariah 1 and 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are, that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased. Uh -huh. And they helped forward the affliction. Yeah, they helped forward the affliction, man. You know what I mean? And they made matters worse for, for Israel, man. Esau, yeah, he's public enemy number one. But when you go to Psalms 83, it's a list of other nations, man, yeah. that were all together with Esau, man. Hey. If I may say, you go to the hood like he was talking about. The reason these heathens think it's okay is because they see the heathen come right in our same man. They don't. Uh, Esau don't come. He don't really live in our neighborhoods like that. But he watches these other heathens live in our neighborhoods and, and open up their businesses in our neighborhoods, and they make it. How come y'all can't make it? Like Elam. Yeah, the, the system ain't set up for us to make it. Elam come right in and, and put his uh, little little spot, his little corner store right there, yeah. and his cousins and friends like well. What we said, the Hajib, Hajib came right in and now he prospered, you know? Why they not doing it? See, they don't really want it. They not working hard for it. Now it's a totally different thing. We under the curses, yeah. you know? Yeah, man. If Jake in their own neighborhood ain't selling food or hair care products, it ain't gonna work. It's not gonna prosper at all. It ain't gonna work. And that's gonna be a struggle for that. Yeah. yeah. All right, Luke, 16 and 22. But that's the that's the dogs uh, licking the sores, man. Yep. You know. Go ahead, huh? And it came to pass that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and hey, was buried. That, like he said, that's like that was Israel, because it said who the, the it said what care, the angels carried him yeah, into Abraham's true. bosom. Only only Israel could be carried into Abraham's bosom. He don't care about Elon like that. The most I don't care about that like that, about him like that. Go ahead. Now, I'm just tying that back into that, to that, uh, to be in Israel. 
the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeing Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Yeah, meaning this devil, he, we traded places. All right, his world, his kingdom passed away. And now he, 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 he saw the shift. God. Now he's the, he's the peasant. He's a slave. He's on the bottom. He's under the curse. He's the beggar. And the, and, and the beggar now. is now in power. God. He's the ruler. He's the rich man. God. He's in wealth. Okay? Y'all see that? Watch that movie, uh, White Man's Burden, oh, yeah. with uh, John, Traverta, John Travolta and um, uh, Barry, Harry Belafonte. Yeah. Man. It, it shows you a little glimpse of that, man, in that, in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Was, Esau was living in South Central. <laughs> and Jake yeah. living in Bel Air, man, kicking yeah. it. Or even trading places. Trading places is another one, man. So they woke up in hell. Basically, that shows you that and when you are in the lowest condition and you and, and you, you live in oppressed and you in captivity, that's hell, man. So when Esau trades places with us, we gonna be in heaven and he gonna be in hell, man. That's right. That's what's gonna happen, man. We're gonna trade places. Okay. Go ahead, huh? Verse 23. And in hell he lifted up his eyes. As a matter of fact, when you get uh, Isaiah 14, it tells you, you know, he, he's going to be cast down in, into hell, right? And then the nations, they're going to be like, damn, like, this, this, the man, this was the man right here? This man is brought so damn low. This was the same man who used to uh, 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 call shots. He, he used to send drone, uh, drone strikes and, and, and destroy people. He had this one missile that can move. Yeah. You know? This 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 man uh he, he owned uh uh you know the the all the banks. He lived in he Israel. Had, he had a central bank everywhere. <laughs> hey, he lived in Israel. He had the strongest militaries. You know, the, yeah. he had the strongest technology, man. He was he, this man was turning people into robots, man. Yeah. That's how much power this man had. Now this man is a little a little crusty red little slave sit living in a damn pit a dark ass pit that's gonna be hell for him man you know they gonna be getting fresh <laughs> crusty red fresh off them boats mm -hmm. with, with chains and shackles on them and shit yep. you know ain't gonna have no suntan lotion Go ahead, bro. Verse 23. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, torments, and seeing Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in yep. water. That's what I thought was coming. And cool it my you tongue. About, so like, when you talking about hot and shit come fresh off the uh, boats. Yeah. They gonna want to just dip the tip and to get a drip of water, man, to cool his tongue. Like I was about to say, that's the first thing I thought of was that yeah, I figured it was coming. Because yeah. these Christians, they'll interpret that like, oh, he's in hell, so he's burning. Yeah. And he's asking for him to come over and... What if you burning, Hi. what the fuck is a drip gonna do? It they won't even it fall in. It, it won't yeah. even fall into you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so... Obviously, this is parabolic, man. Meaning, this is basically Esau telling, telling, uh, telling, her, hey, man, can y'all ease, ease up on, 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 on fucking us up? <laughs> you know, because you're gonna be getting his head kicked in every which way. Our children gonna be getting, getting they turned on his ass. The, the animals gonna be fucking him up. You know, everybody gonna be getting revenge on him, man. We gonna even put, we gonna be even putting the other nations over him. Ishmael can't stand you. He, yeah. he, he, he's wild. And Ham, Ham's already lighting your ass up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ham, he, he's going to Ham will eat your ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> put you in a doodle cake and shit. <laughs> that scripture, uh, uh, it was shown, uh, shown mercy or shown no mercy. Oh, that's in uh, like that, uh, yeah. James, the book of James, uh, yeah, I think yeah, the, third, yeah. the third chapter. Yeah, God. Until yeah, because he, he, he's going yeah, he's going to work mercy, but ain't no mercy to the, to this devil, man. He ain't going to get no mercy, man. He got to he got to drink the uh, 
the dregs, man. God. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta taste of that cup. Yep. You know. Was that James? You looking for that? I can tell you about this. Cut. Uh, last, uh, uh, I'm gonna start at 24. He, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip uh, the, tongue, uh, the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Yeah. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. Hey, that's why going back to Psalms uh, 73, man. Fret, fret not thyself because of uh, uh, the wicked that's, uh, uh, that, that, that prospers, man. Because this is, their, this is the end result for them. This is how they're going to end up, man. Okay? They, they they have all that 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 um that a man could wish for, well when the, he, he he ain't gonna have shit when when, when the uh when the Lord takes the Esau down, man. Yeah. All right, we are gonna take the kingdom, man. That means that we gonna take literally everything from him, man. Don't you know in our law it, it tells you when we go to make war against the city, we we are allowed to to, to uh, take the spoils of that city yeah. that means you taking their cattle you taking their women God. you taking their children Money, their jewels, you taking their, their precious gold their precious. silver yep. you taking everything man when we walked out of egypt we took we, we, yeah. we, we jacked they shit man okay we we're gonna leave this devil with nothing man and it tells you that in Job uh 20 everything that he got he gonna vomit it back up yeah yeah okay so he ain't gonna have a damn thing, man. All he gonna have is his hand so he can use it to build up our uh, our, our walls, man. Okay? And, and picking cotton and, and picking fruits. Okay? You're gonna be farming. You, you're gonna be... And we're gonna give you the most hazardous work, man. All right? Y'all found the, uh, the scripture? James chapter 2, verse uh, 13. Yep. It says, uh, for he shall have, yeah, it says, for he shall have judgment without mercy, he that have shown no mercy. He shall have judgment without mercy, that have shown no mercy. He, didn't, he never showed mercy to Israel. In Ezekiel, it tells you that he, he, uh, he, he um, tear uh, perpetually with the sword, man. He had a perpetual hatred for, for, for Jake, man. Come when, so, when slavery supposedly ended, it got worse. That was when you started beginning all the lynching and, 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 and burning up and castrating. You did all that post uh, 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 slavery, man. Post uh, uh, emancipation proclamation, God. And, you know. The, de the, the devil's punch bowl. God, yeah. You know? You had all the uh, massacres, you know, uh, uh, Black Wall Street. You had a uh, 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 Fort Pillow. You know, the Elaine massacre, the uh, uh, the Detroit massacre, Rosewood, R Rosewood. All that occurred post slavery, man. Even though you Jakes were still in slavery, you just wasn't on the chain. But he didn't need a chain. They they had the gun line, boss. <laughs> you better not leave the plantation. You know, and, and that's if you was in the south. If you was in the north, you gotta work. But if if, if, if not, you're gonna be homeless. Probably get shit back to the south. Yeah, or thrown in jail. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of Jake was being uh, uh, brought back to the south. They showed you that in 12 years of slave. Okay. So this devil here ain't gonna have no mercy. He ain't, he ain't, we ain't, ain't nobody gonna let up on that devil, man. We gonna remember everything he did to us, man. Yep. You know? Go ahead, Doc. Uh, all right, uh, verse 25. <laughs> back in the book Luke, right? Yeah, come on. But Abraham said, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise uh, Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. 
get uh, Lamentations 1 and 21 and 22. Real quick. Lamentations chapter 1, verse 21, it says, uh, They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard my trouble. They are glad that, I, that thou hast done it. Start with the so-called white man. They was happy seeing us afflicted, low, oppressed. Call it, you know, they had they have fun making songs mocking us, man. Songs mocking our oppression, mocking uh, what they violently did to us, creating holidays out of it. You know, calling us a bunch of niggas, spits, wetbacks. You know, porch monkeys, coons, blackface. Yeah. Okay. About what you're talking about right now. Um, Lamentations 2 and 15. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection, the beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Yeah, they, they looking down at Lazarus like this, this bum ass, this little motherfucker, man. He's supposed to be the, the, the city of the Lord, man. That's supposed to be royalty. That. That, that goes back to the, to, uh, the royal kingdom of uh, David and Solomon. You know? Esau go to the hood and look at Jake, just, just bugged out his mind. Yeah. On all type of uh, drugs and, you know, drunk. You know what I'm saying? Pushing a, a, a cart or a basket. Mm -hmm. They see the nigga you know, walking around. She, she don't want to be herself. She got blonde hair. Looking a mess, you know, pushing a bunch of children, no father around. Yeah, yeah. And that's what like he's Con. Everything's out of order when you look at the, uh, the Jake family. Yeah, man. And Esau sees that and he he sticks his chest out, man. Yeah. Good, let's let's you know, keep these niggas uh, like this, man. Right, let me keep reading. It says uh, 16, it says, all thine enemies have opened their so like, and you got them fake ass humanitarians. Yep. Among Esau that, that act like they they gotta care for Jake for the you know the the, the lowly Jakes and shit out there, but really the, the devils they, they basically you can't the, the scriptures tell you never to trust thine enemy. Yep. Yep. And the scriptures also say they will they will seek to please the poor. Man. Exactly. Yep. Exactly, man. You know, because these because these devils some of them they do have a guilty conscience. They know. That they that uh, that they ain't right, and what they their forefathers have done wasn't right, man. And even that devil that just came up, he acknowledged that, man. Yeah. You know? Fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up. But hey, you benefited from that. God. You ain't gonna trade places, though. Yeah. Once you give back everything that your forefathers <laughs> uh, took let, from let us. Let me get that company up out, you I give you a job. Come on. That company. You know, with that. Won't you leave your companies? All right. Made a new CEO B. <laughs> yeah. This brother. Yeah. You know? I'm doing right. I'm gonna hire all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hire his ass last. Yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> man. Hire him first. <laughs> yeah. He said, I'm gonna give you a job. I ain't gonna keep you. He said, uh, verse 16. All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we looked for. We have found. We have seen it. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know? Go back. This, this is the day that we've seen it. Like, you see them old postcards of all them proud ass Edom Mike standing around a Jake hanging, hanging oh, from God. a, a yeah, light yeah. pole or a tree. Yeah. You, 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 just, you just see it on, the, on their faces, man. You see it right here. True. God. You see it on their faces, man. You know? So, I had that one book, too. They had uh, all of them. Yeah. Crowd, it, it was a sight to see, man. Let's go around and see this nigga. I was there. I, I, want, to, I want to see the last uh, moments of this nigga. I want to see him uh, take his last breath. And they wrote that on those postcards saying, uh, nigga was hung here. It was a good day, yada, yada, yada. Oh, and, man, and, we barbecued yeah, later. Yeah, you know? yeah. And they, they showed that in uh, Birth of a Nation, too. When everybody uh, gathered around for when they uh, hung in that Turner, mm -hmm. they showed that big old crowd. That's what they wanted to see. They found pleasure in that. Hey, and they, in the same way they rejoiced back then, 
they even rejoice over Jake when they get him in, a, in the system. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, like uh, for instance, that nigga OJ, which they, they, they still want that nigga, man. They, they put out an a, a, a interview that's kind of, he was incriminating himself. O, OJ. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get to watch it. Bro, yeah. they did that it's to get this race war popping, bro. God. That's, God. Another, that's another thing. That's another, that's another yep. way, you know? But, they can't, they can't but remember it. how happy remember how happy these devils was when they got his ass for the uh, the robbery out here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the civil suit, yeah. They was happy as fuck, man. Like, oh, man. Hell yeah. Justice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Justice served. When Justice they, served. But you know? they really wanted them. After they uh, murdered that white bitch. Yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's what they wanted them for. That, 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 yeah, man. Yeah. That was what that was about. Getting them back for that shit, man. Yeah. You know. I wouldn't be surprised they assassinate his ass or something. Cause they ain't got no money. They didn't say no. They're only gonna make him more publicity, more money. Yeah, they, they, they love seeing Jake just, just 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 shut down like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lamentations uh, one and twenty one. It says. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. Thou will bring the day that thou hast called, and they shall be like unto me. They shall be like unto me. What? Meaning they shall be cursed just like me. The rich man shall be like uh, Lazarus, man. Yeah. Go ahead. He says, let all their wickedness yo, yo, come like, before thee. Yo, Hebrew is like yeah. Yes, sir. Sure. Yeah. Where they at? Where they at? I mean, you know, it's human. You got to get right, man. Too close. Too close to be messing up. The fourth quarter, it's overtime. You got to get right. I'm going to tell them y'all down here. Yeah. yeah, all right. All right. All right. Bet, bet. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Huck? It's 11.59. Oh, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Cinderella, but anyway, uh, verse 22. Let all their wickedness come before thee, and do unto them as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions. Oh, hold that. Get Daniel 9 and 11. Get Daniel 9 and 11. Because look what the hell the Lord put us through for us going off against him. He's calling for for, for, for our enemies. Us. Come, we the apple of his eye though. Yeah. But he's calling for his enemies to take basically a hey, jack their ass up for all the wickedness that they've done. Yeah. And you, would you put us through? I want that done unto them. That's right. You know. Daniel, Daniel nine and eleven. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Uh huh. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Yep. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, because we have sinned against him. Go ahead. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil. A great evil. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Go For ahead. under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. Right. Yeah. And nobody went through what Israel went through, man. No nation can say that they went through what Israel went through, man. Hey, you got snatched out of your land on slave ships for months, and then you get off the boat, and you got to go to work. After you're watching your family get snatched from your arms, yeah, and, right. get hey, thrown, thrown to the sharks and shit, man. Niggas jumping, everything, man. Yeah. You see all of that, and then you get off and still got to go to work? <laughs> yeah, man, man. That's crazy. And then going back to the parable, the Lord's basically saying, you saw how uh, uh, Lazarus, all these evil things, he was suffering, and while you was in your comfort zone and, and, and your riches and, and, and you know and your decadence, man. Yeah. You know? Come on, man. At the end of this. So that's why in Lamentations, mm -hmm. you know, Jeremiah is, 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 is calling for, for, for this with, with, with uh, uh, Daniel yeah. was uh, prescribing. About how all the Lord pronounced against us a great evil, and nobody has went through this great evil that has been done unto Jerusalem. Go back to read that in the uh, at the end of it, it says, "For my son, read up. Oh yeah, I started at twenty-two. Let all their wickedness come before thee, uh -huh. and do unto them as 
as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions. Come. For my sighs are many, and my heart is faint. Exactly, man, because we under that curse. All right? The Lord, the Lord brought great evil on us, man. All right? So, guess what? The Lord is taking, uh, Yahweh Shai is, is, is taking that curse off of us, man. Now we getting ready to be blessed. The Lord already blessed us with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the kingdom, which is this knowledge, man. Yep. We just waiting for the physical manifestation of it, man. All we waiting on is Yahweh Shai to come back and we go, everything else is gonna fall in line, man. That's all we waiting on. And, and, and when Yahweh Shai comes back, the beggar is going to become the rich man. Right. Okay? And the rich man is going to become the beggar, man. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. Come. All right? So, uh, yeah. come. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 2. The son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, uh, Thus saith the Lord power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. Yep. And I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Yep. And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. That's why it says in uh, Malachi, though you shall build, I will throw down. Yep. Okay, everything that this man did built for himself, it's all going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword yep. in the time of the, shed the blood of children of Israel by the force of the sword yep. in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore as I live, said the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Yep. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Hey, blood is gonna pursue your ass, man. All right? Especially when when, when when all hell breaks loose in the society, it's gonna start with the race riots. It's gonna be blood shedding on, on both ends, but the most I gonna put a, a, a crucial spirit on Jake yep. to, to, to start getting your asses, Wait man. Wait till you run out of your bullets. Yeah. Wait till you run out of bullets. Then Jake gonna get the upper hand on him. Yeah. So a lot of Edomites gonna be dropping dead at, from that. But then you also got, you know, Yahweh Shai when he comes back and tells you that the blood's gonna be up to a horse's bridle, man. He's coming back to uh, shed the blood of uh, you, you devils, man. Who is he that coming uh, from Edom with dyed garments from Basra, man? You know? Coming, coming with a. Uh, 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 it's like his garment is dipped in blood, man. Red apparel. Because because Yahweh Shai, he wants your blood, man. All right? Go ahead. Huh? Verse 7. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that passes out and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. In thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Yep. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. And your cities shall not return. Or you won't have no other established city, man. Because all the cities that you do establish is, 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 is uh, established with blood. Yep. What's that? Uh, Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Yeah. Woe to you that uh, uh, that, that beautiful uh, town will establish a city by iniquity, man. Yeah. That's how you. That's how you establish uh, towns, man. All right. All these cities here in America is built on the blood of of, of, of the Gadites, man. Yeah. You know, over there in Europe, 